Hey guys, Nick here with the mic loop. Um, we've been asked often how does the mic loop apply when I have an external carrier or outer carrier that looks like a uniform style shirt. Um, today we have a Blower Armor Skin external carrier and Blower is not the only company that makes external carriers this style. However, this is what we have today and it was loaned to us by an officer to use for demonstrations in this video. Um, as you can see, there's no external Velcro for mounting points for the mic loop. It does have a mic tab for your mic to mount to, but for purposes of this video, I'm removing it to show where the modification for the mic loop can be made. What we recommend when using the mic loop with an external carrier such as this is to make a minor modification to the front of the carrier itself. Uh, what I've actually done here is sewn a buttonhole where the mic tab will actually conceal it. When you have the buttonhole centrally located, your mic can go to the left or the right and the mic loop can easily be concealed under the tab. If you do not have the mic tab and only have the fake seam, you can make a small modification under either side of the seam itself to conceal the exit point for the mic loop. It should be noted that sewing a buttonhole to make this modification work is not absolutely necessary. It will work just fine simply cutting a hole into the material. However, the buttonhole keeps the material from unraveling. You can have the buttonhole sewn at an alteration shop or depending on your knowledge of sewing can do it yourself, depending on your comfort level. Once you've made the modification to the external carrier, now all that's left is to attach your mic loop to your body armor panel. To do so, flip up the front of your carrier. Attach the Velcro portion of the mic loop to the Velcro on your panel, either on the cummerbund or on the side as you see here. Then, thread the loop through the modification that you've made to your carrier. Once the loop is threaded through, now all you have to do is adjust the length as you need. To do so, pick up the Velcro off of your panel and adjust the length where the minimal amount of the loop is exposed, just enough for you to clip your microphone into. Once you have your mic loop attached to your body armor panel, the next step is to secure your radio mic into the mic loop. As you can see here, the mic tab has been replaced concealing the once visible buttonhole that was sewn into the fake seam. The officer that loaned us this carrier requested that his mic loop be accessible through the right side of his seam. To attach your mic, all you have to do is open your mic loop, attach the clip into the loop, and it will be secure. It will stay with you through a foot pursuit, through a struggle, and you'll always be connected to your lifeline. We hope this video answers questions on our recommendation for applying the mic loop when using an external carrier that is a uniform style front. As always, stay safe and stay connected.